Welcome back to the Crypto Watch Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, both Bitcoin and Ethereum are still playing out these bearish divergence patterns while the Bitcoin hash rate is pumping into a new all time high right now, which I'll talk more about later in the video. So definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a really quick update on the daily Bitcoin chart. And right now, technically speaking, this previous bullish divergence on the daily time frame is still playing out while the RSI is in this uptrend, forming higher highs and higher lows. And in fact, right now at the time of recording this video, the daily Bitcoin RSI is getting very close to retesting this upwards trending line of support, which is currently sitting at around 45 approximately, with the RSI sitting at around 47 to 48. But if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin MACD, as of right now, this is showing that we don't really have a lot of bullish momentum on the daily time frame, even though we're technically still in this short-term bullish relief as a result of this bullish divergence. We just don't have a lot of bullish momentum, which basically means we shouldn't really be expecting any explosive moves to the upside anytime soon, at least. But once again, while the daily Bitcoin RSI is still remaining in this uptrend, this can continue to assist the price of Bitcoin in this short term bullish relief where basically the price just drifts slowly to the upside rather than exploding to the upside. And now if you're taking a look at some smaller time frames like this four hour Bitcoin chart, we can see that that short term bullish relief on the daily time frame when you zoomed in here is actually more of an uptrend that is visible because as I explained in my last few videos, we're clearly forming higher highs and higher lows, at least as of right now on the four hour Bitcoin charts. And when it comes to important support and resistance, this is levels to watch out for in the short term for Bitcoin. First of all, starting with support, I'll be looking towards around 19.1K approximately. Anything below that level, then I'll be looking towards around 18.7K. Anything below that, then I'll be looking towards the local low, which is sitting at around 18.1K. And our levels of resistance are starting at around 19.8K as the immediate level of resistance that I'm currently watching. Anything above 19.8K, then I would be looking looking towards around 20.3k as some strong resistance and anything above that level then I'll be looking towards around 21,000. And now if you're looking at the 4 hour Bitcoin price oscillators first of all starting off with the RSI we actually have a hidden bullish divergence right here with lower lows in the 4 hour Bitcoin RSI but higher lows in the Bitcoin price action on the 4 hour time frame. So once again that is known as a hidden bullish divergence but it is important to mention that a hidden bullish divergence is actually weaker than a regular bullish divergence. And so due to this hidden bullish divergence right now on the four hour time frame, we could see a little bit of reduced bearish momentum in the shorter term, somewhat similar to what we've seen over the last few hours, for example. But just don't forget that a hidden bullish divergence once again is weaker than a regular bullish divergence, which means it is possible we could see a little bit more downside price action after perhaps a few more hours, maybe one more day worth of a bit of sideways price action. And one of the reasons as to why I'm saying that there's technically a little bit more room to the downside for the price of Bitcoin in the somewhat shorter term is also due to the four hour Bitcoin RSI, because as we can see here, we obviously have an active bearish divergence pattern. And this isn't just a hidden bearish divergence pattern. It is a traditional bearish divergence pattern, which means technically speaking, this traditional bearish divergence pattern is actually stronger than this hidden bullish divergence pattern because hidden divergences, once again, are weaker than traditional divergences. And so that's why I just said that we could play out a little bit more sideways price action, somewhat similar to this in the coming hours, for example, due to this hidden bullish divergence. But we still have to remember this active bearish divergence still playing out, which is putting some downwards pressure on the price of Bitcoin. And on top of that, if we're looking at the four hour Bitcoin RSI, once again, this technically shows us that we still have some room left to the downside because for for example, we're not in oversold territories as of right now. And so due to that, it is totally possible we could see the price of Bitcoin drop a little bit further. But for as long as the price of Bitcoin still remains above this previous low, which is sitting at around 18.9K approximately, then technically speaking, this short term uptrend on the four hour time frame is still intact. But anyway, speaking of uptrends for Bitcoin, taking a look at the Bitcoin hash rate, which right now is exploding into new autumn 
time highs. And so what this actually means is more computing power is getting added to the Bitcoin network. So essentially, there are more and more miners trying to mine Bitcoin right now, which are essentially securing the Bitcoin network from any attacks. And so basically, when the Bitcoin hash rate goes up, when this line right here goes to the upside, that means Bitcoin is becoming more and more secure. And so due to the Bitcoin hash rate absolutely exploding, this is increasing Bitcoin's fundamental value. And now you might be wondering if that's really the case, then why isn't Bitcoin trading at all time highs against the US dollar? And that's because in this brief moment in time, the US dollar is currently more scarce than Bitcoin. And now obviously when I'm saying that, I am not talking about the total maximum supply because we all know that there can only be 21 million Bitcoin. But of course, there can theoretically be up to an infinite amount of US dollars exist. And so instead, if you're looking at the issuance rate of Bitcoin and the issuance rate of the US dollar, then we can see that right now the Bitcoin supply is currently being inflated by around 900 Bitcoin per day. That's how many Bitcoin are currently being mined per day. But the US dollar, on the other hand, in this brief moment in time when the Fed is hiking rates and performing quantitative tightening, the supply of the US dollar is actually going down. That is right. The Fed is removing US dollars from the economy and basically burning those dollars. And so essentially, if you're looking at the supply of those two currencies, the supply of Bitcoin and the supply of the US dollar in this exact moment, then once again, we can see that technically speaking, as of right now, the Bitcoin supply is currently inflating while the US dollar supply is actually deflating. And so due to that, due to this rare moment in time where the US dollar is actually somewhat scarce, we're seeing a lot of assets, not just Bitcoin, but a lot of assets or rounds that are paired against the US dollar go to the downside relative to the US dollar. But then eventually, whenever the Federal Reserve decides to pivot and basically return to money printing again, that is when we could potentially see another bull market begin to play out. Because in case you don't already know, Bitcoin is obviously a hedge against money printing like what it was back in 2020 and 2021 when the money was actually being printed. But anyway, getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this right here is the four hour Ethereum to US dollar chart. And right now, Ethereum is sitting at some local support, sitting at around 1320 to 1330 approximately. But if we start to see the price of ETH drop below around 1320, then I would expect the next support coming into play at around 1280 approximately. Anything below that, then I'll be looking towards the local low, which is sitting at around 1220. And when it comes to resistance, we do have a bit of resistance right here at the local high, which is sitting at around 1380. Anything above that, then I'll be looking towards around 1.4K. And then anything above 1.4K, then I'll be looking towards around 1470 approximately. And once again, like I said yesterday, the trend at the moment on this four hour Ethereum to US dollar chart is not a bullish or a bearish trend. We're simply in a choppy sideways price range. And so due to this, my short term trading strategy right now remains the same as what it's been over the last few days. So if you're new to this channel and you want to know what my trading strategy is right now in this choppy sideways price range to make a lot of profits, then make sure to check out my last one to two videos here on this channel or stick around to the end of this video to find out how to make a lot of money in a sideways price range like this. But anyway, staying on the four hour time frame, and technically speaking, we still have this active bearish divergence playing out right now. And this is of course putting some bearish pressure on the price of ETH right now. And unlike Bitcoin on the four hour time frame, there's actually no hidden bullish divergence right here for ETH. So we only have a bearish divergence playing out, which obviously means in the imminent short term, talking about the coming hours, maybe over the next day or so, we're technically looking more bearish than bullish as of right now. But if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going up, down or chopping around sideways, then check out these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left of your screen, it shows you how to make money in an uptrend or a downtrend. And the video in the bottom left of your screen shows you how to make money in a choppy sideways price range. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.